Good morning friends. It is Monday. Mars has been gone since last Wednesday. So he hasn't actually seen a lot of the work that the crew has done. And I've been holding off today to go down and see what the crew has done. I know they started working on the floors. So I'm waiting until Mars gets here so that we can all be surprised together. Um, when we left off, we had completed the tiling in the bathroom floors, but I don't think we'd done the grout yet. And so maybe we did. Anyway, we left off last week, we were working on bathroom floors. And so this week I know we're finishing the wood floors and we'll see what else. Maybe they put the vanities in the bathrooms. I don't know. I'm excited though. So let's go check it out. Yay! Hi, hey buddy. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> oh my gosh! They got it all the way to here. Whoa! Oh, they did. Oh my! Oh what? Oh, oh my gosh! Look, look, look. Oh, in your bedroom? Oh, and they started in your bedroom. Stuff done since you left, huh? Oh my gosh, yeah. They got my bathroom! Oh my gosh. It looks really good. Dimensionally, that's real cool. It's like sticking with the theme, you know? Wow. Your vanity's awesome. Do you think this is gonna be enough space for you to like get ready and stuff like this? Maybe. I've literally lived in a van, lived in a van for six oh, years. Yeah. This is plenty of space. My bedroom. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, look, our lights came in. Good morning. We have a special little treat this morning. Everly, as a fourth grader, was asked to read the weather at the radio station. So we all woke up a little bit earlier today and we're heading over to the radio station for her to read the weather. How do you feel? Are you excited? We're on there, Everly. Excited and Thunderstorm chances will increase today with logical heavy winds. <laughs> Thunderstorm chances Mom. will uh, increase today. Weather kid is here. Just locally. locally. Just ignore that microphone. It doesn't exist. It's invisible. All right. Don't worry. There you go. Good. Good. I'll have no problem with it. She says. <laughs> The weather kid. Everly, you are now in fourth grade. What do you think about that? Um, I think that it's pretty cool. You think it's pretty cool? <laughs> yeah, we like have some special privileges. Yeah. And stuff like that. Well, yeah, because you're the old kids now in the school, right? Yes. How was your summer? What'd you do this summer? We had it through this big party. It was my parents' 10th year anniversary. Right. We had a very big party. That lasted like three days. <laughs> A fourth grader from Longfellow Elementary, her name is Everly Fine. She's going to tell us 
what the weather's going to do. Thunderstorm chances will increase today with logical <laughs> heavy rain possible along the divide. Spread thunderstorm activity can be expected for the weekend. Salida and Buena Vista will see a high of 89. The San Luis Valley can expect a high of 85. Leadville and Fairplay look for a high of 65. We need the rain. We always need rain, don't we? I was yeah. All right. Everly, thank you for coming in and doing my weather forecast. Thanks for coming in, Everly. Bye. Thank you. Yes, oh yeah, Oops. big old thing. <laughs> Like I've tried to like beat it down to get them to seed well if one's like bowed or something before putting in the nails. But if you just put in the nail and then do it, it typically holds. Uh, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's yeah. Like I spent way too much time trying to do it the other way. <laughs> and so I figured, oh, that's just the way to do it. Just put in the nail first. With Mars being gone for work most of the last month, we were super due for some quality time. And what better way to spend it than with a little road trip? Our van is currently in the shop and can't even be looked at until the beginning of October. Welcome to mountain living. So we're camping the old fashioned way, bringing it back to our 48 state road trip with a good old tent. About three hours away from Salida is a you-pick orchard called Big Bees, where you can pick your own fruit. Everything from melons to tomatoes to peaches and apples and grapes. The coolest part though, you can camp on the property. And on weekends, they have live music. Each thing stands for a line in the road. Oh. Where are we? Um, we're probably we're by the apples. We're somewhere over here. <gasps> there are chickens! There's a pond. There's a bar and grill. There's a stage. There's tree swings. There they are. Alright, where are we going to go first? Um, to the tree swings. See? I want to get off. Yep, not your stuff. You don't like it? No. You're flying in the air. You're flying in the air. I gotta go. I'll you try it one more time if you Ready? do it. I'll try Three, it one more time if two, you do it one, one. more time. I got it. Adults are not allowed. Woo! I, I want to try it one Everybody more go. time. The girls had an incredible time on the four giant tree swings. I think they played on them for at least two to three hours. And for the younger kids, they have a little playground. Our favorite part though was of course picking the fruit with a view. Most of what Atlas picked went into his mouth. Yummy! Mm -mm.
sure are smashing it. So that was a super fun little trip to Big B's mm -hmm. Apple Orchard. <laughs> and then friends. Definitely recommend going yeah. if you get a chance to be out near Hotchkiss, Colorado. Yeah, and the drive in between Gunnison and Hotchkiss is just it's literally, Look at it's, I mean, it's magnificent. It's crazy. Um, so anyway. That's wrapping up our week. Wrap up three. This next Sometime. week we are heading to Florida for a friend's wedding. So it's gonna be a little shorter video, but we have a ton going on with our crew. They're finishing up the floors. They're doing the tiling for the bathroom wall. They're mm. doing siding on the outside of the house. Yep. Am I missing anything? Um, there you go. Awesome, so yeah. Heck yeah. We'll keep you updated. See you next week. <laughs>